plastic here. So today I have something really exciting to open in front of the camera for you guys and it's my first loot crate! I have never done a loot crate opening before. I've been eyeing on other people's loot crate box openings for like the longest time but then I kept on missing like the subscription time but I finally got one. I believe this month's theme is fear which I am really really scared about because I really hope that it's not all about zombies. If you haven't seen my my geeky goodie box, I will definitely provide the link to that box in the description box below. That box freaked me out, but it was kind of my fault because I knew it was going to be Halloween themed and I just picked the wrong month to go with for the first month. And I just hope that that's not the case with my loot crate. Um, in case you didn't know, I have a horrible fear of zombies. They creep me out. They they they. They terrify me. Yeah, I just don't like the concept of it. I, I, oh my gosh, just thinking about it makes me sick. Hopefully this is not all about zombies. So without further ado, I am going to get started on this. By the way, if you guys want to subscribe to Loot Crate, I'll definitely provide the link to that in the description box below. Let's get started without further ado. And I love how this box looks so sturdy. Inside the box looks like this and it says Wrencharama. It looks like it's zombie theme. Oh no, what have I done? So I got this locker looking or tin case looking box and on the bottom it says Dead Rising 3. Oh my gosh, Loot Crate exclusive Capcom. So maybe it's like um, related to a game. So let's open this. If I can open it. Oh, it's taped! Duh! It's taped! That's why I couldn't open it! Okay, Elastic, pay attention. I know you're nervous and I know you're scared. It might be all about zombies, but please pay attention. Oh my gosh. I, I forgot what this is called, but this is like the thing that you kind of like you cut grass with it like more but it's got blood spatter all over it as if I killed a zombie with it. This is kind of cool to have like a doll prop but without the blood. <laughs> what have I done? Like I said, it's a really cool doll prop. It's a scary doll prop. Very scary. But if you are a zombie fan, I can totally see this being like a really cool item to collect. And there's a t-shirt. I really like this t-shirt. I ordered this t-shirt in women's large I believe um, and oh my gosh I really like it I was showing you the back of the t-shirt so if you actually look there's a um, skull right but if you actually take a closer look um, it the skull is made with kitty drawings which is really awesome oh my gosh I love this I love this so much they're all made up with kitties that's so cool Okay, so at least I got one item I like. <laughs> yay! Yay! Non-zombie items! Yay! I got this book which says Survival-714 Official Guide to Staying Alive How to Survive a Sharknado I haven't seen that series. It's a TV show or maybe it's a movie. Um, but I've heard some things about it but I haven't seen it at all. But it's basically, um, it looks like this and it's basically a survival guide. Oh, this is kind of cool. I got this temporary tattoo set, slashes and bites. So this one is scratch, um, zombie mouth, vampire bite, zombie bite, werewolf bite. So you are um, dressing up for Halloween. These could come really, really handy. I really like the scratch ones and the bite ones, not the mouth one. I got a 3D glasses! Ooh, let's put this on now. I probably look ridiculous right now, but like half of my world looks red and half of my world looks blue, so this is kind of fun. Okay, so this is a fun way of doing the- ooh, ooh! Oh my gosh, I think I know why they gave us 3D glasses. There is something 3D in here. Whoa! Or maybe I'm just seeing things? So I got this art print. Maybe it's like Walking Dead art print, but it says, Oh brother on the bottom right there. It's like in chibi style but this one has um only one arm I think. And this one, Curse, enjoy the game. Oh it has like a code so I guess it's like a free game code that comes in the box. And I also got this Loot Crate October 2014 Fear. Yeah I was right this um, month's theme is Fear. Um, button with zombie drawings on it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> It looks 3D. Oh my goodness. Here's the magazine and here's the back of the cover. And it also came with this toxic waste blueberry candy. Are you trying to kill me? 
toxic waste candy. And finally, here is a comic book, the Walking Dead comic book. Um, this is the Loot Crate edition. Here is how the cover looks. And here's the look of the entire inside, which I think looks really, really cool. I really love how Loot Crate decorates and designs their um, inner box. It just makes it more collectible, I think, in my opinion. Overall, I am very satisfied with Loot Crate for the price I paid. Um, you get a comic book. I mean, if this month's theme wasn't fear and if it was something that I liked, like for example, villain, I really like their villain theme. Theme. Um, if it was villains, I would have loved everything that I would have gotten in this box probably. Um, so this one is a comic book, um, Loot Crate magazine, a candy, a button, a free game code to play this game, um, little chibi print, temporary tattoo, a manual um, survival guide, this miniature um, figure thingy, and also this awesome t-shirt. I mean, this t-shirt, I do not feel like this is a bad deal at all, especially if you like zombies. Oh, and you also get a 3D glasses. And my makeup is all smudged on the glasses. Nice. I didn't just get one month subscription, I actually subscribed for three months, so I'll be getting the one after that and the one after that. So hopefully I'll be able to get the Christmas box too. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this box opening and I'll be back with more toy videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, 